Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and my name is Chira. So today we are going to discuss what is a URI, URL and URL. So for doing API testing, you should know what is a URI and uh, what is the difference between URI, URL and URN. So when we request from client to server, then we in that request we just send any information okay if i'm get if i'm doing a get request then i will get some data so that data is a resource so you can see the target of an http request is a resource it can be document a photo or anything else so basically each resource is identify a URI uniform resource identifier used throughout HTTP for identifying resource so what it means let's open a paint so my this is my browser this is my web server and I am just write the client and this is a server so in client i am just raise a request and in this request i am fetching and try to fetch any data from the server so let me i fetch data and get images right and server give me a response number of images which it has so this is my response which contains number of pics right so here it is a request here I am targeting the cat images so that cat images is a resource right and to identify that cat images so we have a URI uniform resource identifier so same thing it is saying here that each resource is identified by a uniform resource identifier right so this cat image is a resource and it has any uh, unifying resource identifier so this is a URI and the most common form of URI is URL so URI are two type one, one is URL uniform resource locator I know all of you guys have listened that URL so URL in full form is uniform resource locator right and which is known as a web address so and another way to get uniform resource identifier is a uniform resource name so it is a different uh, it is another type of a URI that identifies a resource by name in a particular name space so by giving a name space we easily identify that resource through URN so for SOAP request we use name space by using different name space we get this uh, URN so let me see if I have any SOAP request this is my soap request let me hit and see uh, let me this is a body so this is this is a namespace and this is the X, xlms is a namespace by using xlms this is a temp so this is a namespace so these are u r n uniform resource name so this is the two way how we can identify our resource which we need to get from our service through a url or through a uniform resource name so this is the way now the syntax of uniform resource identifier so 
basically if I'm talk about this syntax let me open any syntax okay yeah so this is my syntax so let me copy and paste on notepad and write here right so https is a protocol I write protocol after that request dot in so this is my domain okay and api user one it is my path or you can say base if i talk about a base url so this is my base url we will talk for in rest assured what is a base url how we can use base url in rest assured so this is my base url and this is my path where I need to hit my request so basically in this endpoint I'm getting the information for the users and the ID is one so my target is resource is one so this is my path in in this path my resource is located right so this is the way which we have defined in the syntax of uniform resource identifier same schema or protocol http is the protocol it indi indicates which protocol that browser must be used usually it is the http protocol or secured ones for http i created a separate video so guys you who do not watch that video please go and watch and other type of protocol is FTP file transfer protocol mail to SSH this then comes to domain name so as I explain here so this is my domain name this is my domain name so what it means www.example.com is the domain name or authorite that governs the namespace it indicates which web service is being requested alternatively it is possible to use an IP address so we can use an IP address instead of this domain name and then this is the port for HTTP we use 80 port for HTTPS we, uh, we use 443 port so let me open Google and inspect this and then refresh this and then I will get a request so if there is a port is here then we can see yeah you can see a port 443 so this is my IP address and this is my port which is we are discussing here right and after that this is the path the path to the resource on the web servers in early days of the web so basically this is the path which i am told you i am going to hit this on this path and will get the information so this is the path and for the query parameters if we if we have the multiple um, you say multiple query then we have a query parameter in get request so how it does look let me search google and press then i will get the search result so you can see this is the request url okay and in this you, this is the different query parameters if you can see let me show you and see the query parameters so these are the query parameters 
Q is zero, CP is zero. This is the basically different parameters which is given by the google.com. And if I go down, then I can see PQ. Thus, PQ is the value uh, is a key and value of PQ is which, which I have searched here. So this is complete a parameter. So so for this parameter it start from a question mark and append with the value right so if you if i will copy this parameter and paste on notepad then you can see this is a different a parameter and this is a query and we append a query this is a cp this is our client and this is our different parameter is appending over here so let me show here okay and this is the what i have searched okay so you can see on the document if I need to query, so question mark key one value one q two value two are the extra parameters provided to the web server. So what are in this? Uh, I'm just search this my uh, this my the base URL. This google.com is a base URL. This is my path and this is my parameters, right? So I'm searching Google B question mark. If I go that Google semicolon E and by using question mark and by using end symbol I append so those parameter are the list of key and value they are separated with the end percent symbol thus web servers can use those parameter to do extra stuff before using to return to the user so this is for the extra so what it is means means it has separate meaning for the google search right for our understanding i am searching through this pq right so this is the way and this is the way how web server works so let me this is my base url okay if i break this is my path and after question mark all this value all this value is for our query parameters right for query parameters is usually used when we search anything so we use query parameters so guys hopefully you understand this video you understand what is a url how we hit url uh, from browser to server and how soon that uh, goes to the web server and how web server return to the uh, chrome browser or any browser so thank you for watching this video bye bye take care